Hatafe versus Valencia. Wow, after the Lord Mayor's show. Hatafe plus 120, Valencia plus 270. Draw. Now, this is a real runner as a draw. Draw plus 205. Valencia a minus 125 just to score. Uh, Hatafe at minus 243. We're starting off with Hatafe 1, Valencia 0. Pavlos, where have you gone with this? Bloodbath. Oh, capital oh. V, capital everything. Just press What's the, the caps button. Six and a half. Six and a half. Oh, this was, that's so this easy. This was almost a bunker. This was almost a like bunker. Half. <laughs> First yeah. half could easily have like four of them. And I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna read you the stats. Actually, first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, lead this conversation by saying that there there have been 11 red cards in the last nine head-to-head matches. 11 red cards. These players do not care for sport. They do not care about anything. They just want to murder one one another. So, uh, I'm gonna read you the card totals uh, from the recent matches. The last match, the last time they played, there were just five cards, which was a really disgrace. But then, before that, it was 11 total cards with three reds, 8 cards, 11 cards with two reds, 10 cards, 12 cards with two reds, 8 cards with a red, 15 cards with one red card, 10 cards with one red. I could keep on going, but there's a, a long history, I think uh, since, I don't know, maybe 2017 or 18 or something, with bloodbaths between the two, the two sides. And now these are two um, sides that are... <laughs> Practically battling relegation. Good. I don't even know who the referee is. It's uh, Quadra. I'm going to look at matter? his stats. But... Quadra Fernandez. No. Yes. No. It doesn't matter. In situations like this, smash the over six and a half. Smash the maybe, I think the first half uh, card total should be two and a half, to be honest. And what smash about every... remember we used to do the red card at any time? So, uh, even, so yeah. even if you, so basically a red card at any time, that's even better because you might be like on three yellows. But then one of the boys that are on the yellow might get another yellow, which is a red card. So there's a, that one as well. Yeah, I bet both. I took the red card <laughs> oh, and I no also doubt. took the, the, the totals. Uh, I'm going to make some same game parlays. The, the, I'm not going to waste any time on this show, but uh, I might uh, post them on Twitter. Just uh, blindly pick like three or four players to be carded and then you have good chances to land like a 30 to 1 bet or something. So uh, this is... A relegation battle between two teams that are dying for points. They have a long, long history, long history, like more than 10 years of um, destroying one another, like literally destroying one another uh, with cards, fouls, uh, both teams getting red cards, uh, the, the, even the coaches get sent off. It's a bloodbath. I've been waiting. This is one of the matches I'm waiting for. Atletico, uh, no, um, uh, Boca Juniors River Plate. I'm waiting for Betty Sevilla, Getafe Valencia, and Ranger Celtic. These are the. This is this kind. It's up there with the big ones. So give me the over six and a half cards, and give me the red card, and uh, just wait. Pour yourself a, a bottle of wine, or a, I don't know, a nice coffee, or whatever. Light a cigar, and just watch the money come pouring in with the cards on uh, Sunday. Okay. First of all, Valencia. Do they score minus one twenty-five to do so? Uh, Paco, have you got any belief that they score? Or is this one of those that under two at minus 41? Is minus 141 for a reason? First up, I have to say that I love to see someone to have some sort of enthusiasm to oh, watch a Getafe some. Valencia game <laughs> at this point where these two teams have been absolutely abhorrent this season whenever they have played uh, most of their games for a number of reasons. You know, Getafe... Uh, find it very tough to score. Thankfully, they, they regained the addition of Borja Mayoral after his long-term injury, and that has helped him quite a lot, because remember, in the first five or six match days, they only scored like once. Uh, Cristian Tusuche, who is a central defender, he was playing as number nine. So, Getafe doing weird stuff because their uh, squad isn't up to par. And you have Valencia, who so far have been, uh, you know, uh, presenting us with potentially one of the worst performances overall for a single team in a single season. We're talking about Almeria levels last year, who, who were <laughs> unable to win a single game in, in you know, months. Barca, um, Valencia have won one out of the last 17 games between this season and the past one. And looking at the lineups, potential lineups, and looking at the, you know, tactics of both managers who I, you know, know quite well and actually have some... Uh, level of rapport with them 
Uh, Baraja is going to play with five at the back, and possibly Bordalas is going to play with five at the back. Oh, so, God. Uh, so, uh, we're, you know, I was like this close. I, I said a couple of weeks ago that I'm not getting like near to a Valencia game, and I'm going to stick to that. But I was like this close to go for the or the nil nil as a result or the under one and a half. You know, regardless of who wins this game and so on, because yeah. Valencia, as as one of our uh, you know viewers said before, Valencia have scored only once in the last I don't know how many games. They scored against Las Palmas and then they lost. They scored twice against Las Palmas, but you know that goal was just a stat uh, goal. It really didn't yeah, make a difference. Yeah. They lost regardless against Las Palmas. Remember, bottom of the league, and they scored three at Mestalla. So in this game in particular, if I had seen. Last year, for example, a plus 270 money line for Valencia, I would have gobbled it up. Or even the draw, plus 205, I think that would be one of the courses to go. But I said back in the day, I'm going to stay away from any Valencia game. I'm going to stick to it. I definitely think that Pablo is going to make a lot of cash with the plus 6.5 yellows. Because as you said, there's bad blood between these two teams. And also Cuadre Fernández is as you know, most Spanish referees quite mediocre. So, uh, yeah, we're seeing potentially a big number of cards. Remember, Valencia are missing Pepelu. Getafe have also absences. It's going to be a core to watch. And remember that it's, you know, a spooky season at this point. So, yeah, this is going to be spooky as hell. Yeah, I saw in the chat there that basically Vidat saying it's time to move location. But Vidat, you don't understand. You can choose your wife, but you can't choose your family. And uh, <laughs> Paco is actually family with uh, Valencia. Here we go. Look um, at this guy, Vidit. He's saying that it's time to relocate. I definitely, Vidit. You know, if you want, if you're gonna invite me over, I definitely get out of here because we're going down at this rate. <laughs> but, yeah, but I hope you get my Getafe were uh, or Hetafe were uh, one my selection to go down as well. Um, but I did see there at plus one ninety three Hetafe not to score looks like a massive or draw half time here, draw half time at nil nil or under half a goal or under the one one being the push. But I guess that'd be like minus one forty. Okay, so have a little look at the official picks. Game number four over six and a half cards plus. 118. Did you double dip in this game? You did. Over. Yes. There you go. Plus 230. Red card. I love that because you know what? The, you could get the straight red first up. Plus 230. Just for a red card to be seen. Uh, looks like the way to go. And I'm going to star that and put some inheritance on it as well.